Well, hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome to a very short and sharp video, guys. We've only got one creature to show you, but I am a massive fan of the original Jurassic Terror. As you know, recently I just showcased the version 13, which is now available for release on the, uh, the Discord. Uh, be, and behind that is Griffin. Now, Griffin has just shared this first ever beta of Jurassic Terror Reborn. Now, th this is the first creature, although I will show you, I will also talk about the Trosseraptor pack, which uh, we've we've seen before. But we're going to show you this creature. This is the first creature out of the box. It's so good. <laughs> I asked to be able to showcase it early for you guys and show it in 4K and high definition. And it's a new, a brand new Triceratops. And I'm going to show you the taming. And uh, this, now this is really, really early days, guys. So be wary of that. So first up, we will show you what the Triceratops looks like. Here we go. We're bringing a live one. Wow, look at that, guys. You probably already saw the thumbnail to see it. That I just love, just love this design. I think it's absolutely amazing. Now, uh, Griffin's got a little YouTube channel that showed this off. Uh, he said the uh, the actual animations are not very good, but for me, it works. The animation, the, the creature walks, it corks, the tail moves, uh, and obviously it did that when you spawn it in, it did that open jaw. There we go. So we have got we have got some animations and the eyes move as well. So it's it's pretty good. And as we know, Jurassic Terror is absolutely brilliant. So I will first of all, there's also a stand a model which doesn't move as well. So if I just spawn it in now, I'll go here and we will go deaf. It's called Summon Jurassic Deaf. <laughs> and it's literally the model. Which is superb. I always want I always want models to be able to just stand them there. So this is absolutely brilliant. If you can be able to do this with Jurassic Terror for all the creatures and have them in the pose, it'd be absolutely brilliant. I'm really impressed. So these Triceratops are a great start uh, to the add-on, as you can see. Uh, now, we need to show you the egg. Right, okay, so the egg is not available at this time, but if we just literally put a little bit of a pen in here for you, the egg doesn't take long to hatch either, which is really cool. So let me summon the egg. The egg. And there you go, guys. So the egg is there, which will give us a baby Triceratops. And the last one just literally only took about 30 seconds uh, to actually hatch. And then we'll be able to tame it and actually grow it. I, I just really love this design. This is sort of I love the uh, I love the blue like plates on the top. It's like almost like an uh, armored Triceratops, which it isn't, but you know it looks like that. So hopefully this will spawn. This will the little baby will spawn very quickly. And there you have it. There's our baby trike. Now, I took about a minute and 15, maybe a minute and 20 seconds. Last time I did it to about 30, so there must be different timers on it. How about that, guys? So you need to breed it in a pen because it will run off. So first up, guys, we will tame it. So we'll use, at the moment, it uses seeds to tame. There we go. We got tameable. So and then you can just click it to sit. So that's a standard thing. We'll get rid of all this now, guys, because it's our Triceratops and it will follow you as usual. But oh, sit down. There we go. So a baby Triceratops. Now, interestingly, you know, and uh, Griffin did note in his video that he'd miss, miss code, forgot what he'd coded the growth. And at the moment, this is a uh, herbivore meat eater. <laughs> I love it. Raw mutton. Raw mutton is a trick. Oh, there we go. That sort of grew one. I'm just going to press it and see how many growth. <gasps> Whoa, that's a nice size, isn't it? That is superb. <gasps> and there's another one. So that's three growth spurts. Four growth spurts. Wow. Five. Oh, wow. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hey, ten. So it's ten times. He come in to see me. In fact, let's see what happens. Does it come over here? Because oh, I want it to kill stuff. Oh, now did that spawn in naturally over there? Hold on a second. No, oh, it might be from earlier on. I'm not sure, guys. Oh, here it comes. Look how fast it comes. So it even comes across the water. Wow. Right. Okay, guys. Another trick you can do is it will attack animals 
I'm not going to do it to the tortoises. So you come with me. So I'm going to fight. I was over here. We find some creatures. I want to find a beastie. Right, guys. So it's getting dark. Uh, oh, it's going to go to sleep. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, did you see that? Oh, my God. It goes to sleep. We'll do the attack in a minute when the... <gasps> oh, look at that. Will it? No. Oh, right. So it will sleep like that. Right, guys. So it's only the ju the young and the juvenile that attack things and be very wary what happens if they die. And we'll test this out now. So let's just tame it there. Let's make it sit. Uh, we'll sort of grow it a bit, make it a bit bigger. Uh, we'll bring it out of here, guys. So if I unseat it now from there and I go and attack a skelly, come on, come on. Let's see what happens. It will now attack the skelly. <laughs> uh, it will attack it there we go <laughs> it's kill it but if it dies it will have a death oh my god this is where it will die now because it's not killing the skeleton oh it's gonna die yeah there we go so oh now so and i want to come on out you come let's come out let's come out and show you what it does when it comes out come on so if we find another skelly in the dark without Let's put it be over here, maybe over here. Put a skelly over here. Right, watch this. So, oh, there we go. So you go and attack it. Now, when this dies, because it will die, it dares its death. So when I spawn that creature in, that was his death animation. It has like a death. What would be really cool is if I can pick it up. Uh, so be very wary that, yes, they do fight, but it will die quite quickly. So this one, I it attacked the other one over there, which I pushed over there, and they died. This one's still alive, though. So he's all right. So, uh, no, that won't attack anything at the moment. I suppose that will be coded in, but it's pretty damn cool. Where are you gone? Where are you gone? Come on. Hey, there we go. So very, very impressive start. Uh, now, Atrociraptors. So uh, Griffin posted these, uh, these Atrociraptors that are now on the screen, guys. Uh, and you can see them quite plain. They are absolutely fantastic. However, Griffin got uh, quite some feedback to say that people didn't like them. Well, I absolutely love them. I think in terms of add-ons, they are. we know there are Atrociraptors, but it's got that style of Jurassic Terror. So I really like them and would love to see these actually animated and made to work. I think that would be really cool, Griffin. But I needed to say that because I thought they were absolutely brilliant. So, guys, hope you enjoyed that little video uh, on the new one. And I just love this sleeping animation. That's really cool, isn't it? So that one's the dead one. So if I just get this from seated, it will go to sleep with it. Oh, no, it'll follow me. So if it starts, it will go to sleep. Now, I'll okay, come over here and just stay there. You're going to go to sleep. There we go. And then as you move, it'll move. Right. Thanks for watching, guys. Absolutely brilliant. I'm looking forward to the first release. It will be a while, though, guys. So don't ask me for it. Bye-bye and thank you, Griffin.